He's a farmer, a father, and one very strong man. When Greg Ernst tells his cows to come home, they listen. Get in the barn. But there is more to this 320-pound farmer's life than raising beef cattle in Lunenburg County. In this corner of Nova Scotia, on his 300-acre farm, Greg has another daily routine. When you live close to the land, the rocks have a meaning to you, and that's, that's why I enjoy lifting them, because uh, they mean more to me than uh, barbells. As a child, he would watch as his father would clear rocks to carve out more farmland. His dad had pointed out this rock and mentioned one day maybe Greg could lift it. After all, it was only close to 500 pounds. It was a challenge that later a son couldn't resist. The children call it the family stone. For this friendly giant, it's just part of the regiment which led him to the title of the world's strongest man. That's a family tradition, you know, and uh, there's very few men in the world can lift that rock. That, uh, that I know, I've seen what the best in the world can do. There in the air. For the past few years, Greg seems to be lifting everything and anything and breaking records along the way. The oxen may not be impressed, but the crowds keep coming back. Just two weeks ago in a driving rainstorm at this country exhibition, Greg did something no man has ever done. Using a specially built platform, he lifted two Ford Festivas and their drivers. Total weight, 5,340 pounds. Any mother would be impressed. A typical question you would ask a young child is, what do you plan to be when you grow up? And you would expect them to say, I'm going to be a farmer or like daddy. But his answer was always the same. I'm going to be the strongest man in the world. And you'd say, well, isn't that nice, dear? An old family friend and an acknowledged strength historian feels Greg has earned, in the old-fashioned way, a mention in the Guinness Book of World Records. The weights were carefully reweighed after it was over. And so he did it. He did something no one had ever done. You know, he, he, he sort of walks along with... Uh, with giants of the past. Everybody's waiting for a piece, are they here? <laughs> Back at the farm and following an ample breakfast of steak, rice, sauerkraut, and yogurt, this gentle giant is teased by probably the only people who can get away with it. What's it like having the world's strongest dad? He picks us up and up and he, and he lifts us up to the top of the ceiling and <laughs> And we're way up there, and then he drops us, and we go, eee, and we fall on the bed. And you spin, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I put spins on you. Yeah. Yeah, Before know. getting back to the chores, there is always time for a little light workout in the basement. 162 pounds. <laughs> Soft living. <laughs> 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 Jokingly, he laments about getting a little soft, but when you're the world's strongest man, there is always time for fun and family. Lifting the family plays an important ass. role in Greg Ernst's life. Okay, there you go. Oh, I'm afraid. I'm still beating him this year. It's a lifestyle which gives him strength. I love him. I love him a lot. He's a good man. Uh, he's bigger than me in every way. And uh, he loves me, and I really appreciate it. Strength comes from, from the, the heart. And uh, if you have your, your heart in order, you'll be a strong man. Oh. <laughs> Family life and, and uh, clean living and, and uh, faith in God plays a large part in, in the, the possession of, of strength. Jim Munson, CTV News, Lunenburg County, Nova Scotia.